Dr. Wolf, have you held, I know you were well prepared for this mission. You were trained hard for it. Is there anything, though, that is unexpected? Anything that uh, took you by surprise? Uh, the, the actual amount of gear and equipment uh, is far more than I expected. When I w first walked in, I was just snowed with uh, how much equipment could be in here. And now that I've been here for over two months, uh, it, it seems like home and I understand it better. Well, hello to all of you, and I'll miss you on Thanksgiving. I guess I'll miss you on Hanukkah and Christmas, and uh, maybe even more. But uh, look forward to seeing you when I get home, and you're always here in my mind. And uh, have a very happy Thanksgiving to you and everybody on Earth. You see that this paper, for instance, is on the bottom of this table with a rubber band. Look at these tools over here. This is a whole rack of tools held together with rubber bands. These are fairly heavy tools. It's just amazing. Some time ago, your mother, Dottie, said that she thought the nation was looking for a hero, that she was hoping it would be you. And she said she thinks the nation has made you at a cross between the Lone Ranger and Superman. After two months aboard Mirror, what do you feel most like? Which superhero do you think? Well, uh, thanks, Mom, and uh, I guess most moms feel the same way, but I'm really doing exactly what any astronaut would be called upon to do in this position. It was my turn up at bat. Uh, it is fun to be able to fly, and uh, you can see that we can do that in space, and that's going to be a hard thing not to be able to do when we come home. Dr. Wolf, thanks for sharing your time with us. Good luck on the way back, and uh, what do you have, another month and a half to, to go about?